Hello everyone, I'm Arunima from Knit and Otter and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a 10 stitch pattern using Tunisian crochet. So this is, a, I think it's a very simple technique once you understand what to do. So we start at the center, we start with a 10 by 10 square which is 10 stitches, 10 rows. Um, and it's, I think it's called a 10 stitch blanket because whenever you're working, you're working 10 stitches at once in one row except for the corners so uh, we start with this center panel and then we continue here towards the side where we make this little triangle here we start the corner by making this one triangle and then we turn our work and um, then we make this over here so that completes that one corner and then we make another corner on this side here and we turn again and we continue this side and then we make this corner then this panel and then this corner and then we turn and we just keep going like this so this you can you can keep going and you can make this as large as you want um, and I also think you can make it with as many stitches as you want so it is a 10 stitch blanket but I think it would work with um, five, six, seven, or even more than 10, like 20 stitches. Uh, the technique will remain the same and I'll show you how to do this, but it's very straightforward once you figure out how to work these corners. And the first, I think the first one is, uh, the first two are slightly different than the rest because that's where you're sort of setting up the pattern. But once you have these two done, then the rest of them are pretty much the same. After I made this video, I made this little clip to show you what to expect in this tutorial. So we're going to start at the center panel and then we're going to make a corner with uh, like this with alternating rows in different colors. I think it's uh, very easy to understand how to make this corner. If you change color on every row, you don't have to do it this way. But if you just look at this tutorial and see this corner, then you'd, you'd know what I mean. And once we've made this, I'm going to make this corner, which is uh, two solid colors. I wanted to show you how it looks if you, how to make it if it is in two solid colors. And then we're going to make this panel, which joins with this one. We're going to make another solid color uh, corner here I wanted to show you how to do it in just one color and then we're going to make this panel which joins with this one sideways and then this corner which is exactly the same as this one and then this panel here and then we're going to bind off you could keep going you could add another corner here and then uh, you could add another corner here and you could make a panel here and then another corner so you can this uh, this pattern you can keep repeating until uh, you have a project of the size that you desire but uh, this is what we're going to make in this tutorial and I am going to experiment with creating two versions uh, I'm always uh, wondering if I should uh, speed up the monotonous parts and I have I have people tell me that I go too fast and I have also people who tell me I go too slow. So with this I'm going to experiment and I'm going to make two videos. One which is going to be a long version where I'm not going to forward anything and I'm going to include everything I did uh, so you can follow along and make this uh, entire square with me. But I'm also going to make a shorter version where I have clipped out the uh, parts where which are monotonous or just uh, are, are repetitions. And uh, so you can, uh, I'm if whichever version you're on, I'm going to add a link in the description for the other versions. So you can check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, so for this tutorial, I'm going to use three colors to show you uh, how this works up. I'm going to do it exactly like this, but I'm going to use three different colors. Uh, and I am using Lily Sugar and Cream yarn for this and uh, a hook that is uh, 6.5 millimeters. So let's start with, we we'll always start with a 10 stitch square. So it is going to be 10 stitches and 10 rows of uh, Tunisian simple stitches. So we start with one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am starting with the foundation row. I have separate tutorials for how to make the foundation row and also how to make a donation simple stitch if you want to check them out. I'm going to add a link to everything in the description below so you can find them. 
So I'm going to make my foundation row with 10 stitches. So that completes the foundation row. I'm going to make 10, a total of 10 rows, so 9 more rows of simple stitches. So this is how it's looking. This is 10, st 10 stitches and 10 rows. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 rows. You can see that this is slightly long as compared to the, the, the height is more than the width. That is because these stitches, simple stitches are taller than they're wide. So um, this does not really matter too much. In this pattern, you will see that this will even out eventually. So at this point, I'm going to, um, so here, this is where we are. I just completed this part, this part here now I'm going to start making this corner so to show you how to make this corner I'm going to use a combination of two yarns and I'm going to alternate colors so that you will be able to see how to get this corner if you prefer to see all of it in a single solid color then I'm going to make the next corner in a solid color so you can see how both of them work up uh, so let me just give you a quick overview here uh, of what we're going to do so if you see this is after we complete this we're going to make rows with decreases so with every row we will decrease one stitch so we start we have 10 stitches here this one will have nine this one will have eight seven six and we go all the way to one stitch and we're doing a reverse pass decrease here so we will decrease on the reverse pass and not on the forward pass and you can see that when we're doing this we end up with nine rows so one two three four five six seven eight and there's that ninth one over there and this section would be the same here we will do increases um, we start with one stitch and we go all the way till this will be 10 stitches in the end so there is one two three four five six seven eight nine rows here as well so nine rows here nine rows here so in every corner you will have nine rows and nine rows so that's a square sort of of uh nine by nine but it because it joins here it, it it matches up it becomes a 10 stitch corner but uh you will see how that how that works up but just so you know there'll be nine rows in each triangle in every corner so i'm going to now go ahead and make that first corner so let's join this yarn here And now, just like we were making these previous rows, just start picking up stitches and make Tunisian simple stitches in the forward pass. So there should be 10 loops on your hook or how many ever uh, stitches you started with so that's two four six eight ten and I'm going to now I'm not going to chain one I'm just going to yarn over and pull through two and I'm going to do that all the way to the beginning and because I'm going to show you how to do this uh, into colors uh, I'm going to change color at this point this is you don't have to do this this is just uh, I think this is an easy way to understand how to make this corner and how those uh, two triangles in the corner line up uh, I'm going to the next triangle the, the, the next corner that I'm going to make will be uh, with solid colors so you can see how that works up as well but to understand how this stitch how this corner works up I think um, I find this easy to explain also so here in this next row we'll do instead of picking up 10 loops on the hook we'll have nine so that decrease that we did in the reverse pass we're just we're going to pick up one loop so there's this there's this vertical bar and there's this slanted bar we'll leave that slanted one and we'll just pick up this 
vertical bar so that's nine two four six eight nine and I'm just going to do a yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning so that again that reduces the stitch count by one so there was ten here nine here eight here the next one is going to be seven so but the seven will happen at the return pass so you'll pick up eight loops one two three four five six seven eight and then when i make the return pass it'll be yarn over pull through two so that leave it with a total of seven stitches so we keep going uh, until we reach until we have two loops on our hook and with every row we, we leave that last slanted stitch because we are reducing by one stitch in every row Here we are here with two loops on our hook and if we count the number of rows we are at one two three four five six seven eight and this is the ninth row so if you remember um, here we had counted so this is the center and this is that first triangle that we're just making and that has nine rows here that's one two three four five six seven eight and there's that ninth one that's hiding there so nine rows and uh, now we're going to turn our work I'm just going to untangle my yarn okay so now I'm going to here I'm going to turn my work like this and I'm going to make this portion this half of that square so there'll be a triangle there so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to line up colors so you can see how that works up so because the last stitch in this on the side was um, the last row on the side was this white color i'm going to cut i'm going to make the first row on that side in white as well so complete that and now i have this so th i'm sorry that that just completed that uh, that last row here and i'm going to turn and this is the first loop or the first stitch of that first row on the side so i'm going to keep this on and I'm going to pick up that slanted stitch from that first row or, or the last row from the from the previous triangle I'm going to pick that and make a simple stitch there so then yarn over pull through two so that makes the first row so instead of pulling through two with that color I'm going to change color at this point so that I can line up that other row with this and now I'm going to so this is the first stitch of this row I'm going to pick up this horizontal bar which we had uh, made that stitch was made in the in that slanted bar from that previous row so here so it's basically a that uh, making two stitches here and then we're also going to pick up 
this slanted stitch from this row so you can see how easy it is to figure out which one to pick up if I had done it in a single color um, initially when I started learning how to do this it was very difficult to figure out where to insert my hook so here you can clearly see that in the same color a row with the same color and that slanted stitch in the end that's the one that you need to pick up and here that's three loops on your hook and yarn over two pull through two yarn over pull through two and I'm going to change color here So with every row, we're adding one loop on the hook. So here um, I've got one and then this will be two. And then I'm going to pick up that horizontal bar that uh, was joined with that slanting bar here. That's three. And then find that same color and the slanting stitch of that next of that cut of that row and that's four so yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning I'm going to change color again and so now there were four on the hook now we expect there to be five so that's one and two and three the fourth one will be this horizontal bar four and the fifth one will be will join with this slanting stitch here uh, with the row of the same color there so yarn over pull through two so the next row will have six so that's one two three four five in that horizontal bar and six in that slanted bar and yarn over pull through two and that's I need seven here so one two three four five that horizontal bar and then that's the slant bar So we are now on row eight I believe so that's one we started with the white so one two three four five six seven eight we've completed eight rows and we're expecting to have nine here so that is this is the last row for this corner so I'm going to there's this is slightly different from what we will do in other corners so this one is important this is four five six seven eight and ninth one here in that horizontal bar so that's nine two four six eight nine and now i'm going to pick up this tenth one here and i'm also going to insert my hook in this very in the same space where this is attached to the previous color and i'm going to pull up a loop so that is sort of that is to anchor this triangle here because if i don't do this uh it 
makes this fabric a little unstable so this just adds some stability so it's a good idea to anchor this at this point and just yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning so here you can see that this first corner is done and it matches what we have over here so uh, this way it, it matches what we have over here this was the center this is where we begin in this one and here I have the first triangle that is this one over here and then I have that second triangle that works in this direction so that's there and if you look at uh, the color transitions because of the color transitions it's easy to figure out how to make this try uh, miss make this corner um, but I'm going to also make the next one so the next one is this one which is very similar to this uh, there's this very slight difference where we're not going to anchor that last uh, row in that space there um, and that's because we're going to make that next section and that will get anchored there so that's the big difference between these two corners and um, I'm going to make this in two colors just like this is so if this is distracting or if this is difficult to follow then you can use the next one so I'm going to make this section with this triangle with this one color and uh, I expect to have uh, so I need 10 stitches on my hook at this point uh, 10 loops so two four six I'm sorry five six seven eight nine and ten so that is not counting that last anchored stitch we will just leave it there that is just so to give stability to this fabric so this 10 loops and now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning making the reverse pass and just um, I'm going to make nine rows a total of nine rows like this so now because of that return pass decrease we have uh, we'll have a total of nine loops on our hook in the next row so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and then yarn over pull through two so that's a reverse pass decrease the next one we should have eight so that's one two three four five six seven eight and yarn over pull through two so we'll keep doing this until we have two loops on our hook in uh, in the final row And here we have two loops on our hook and if you count this should be nine rows one two three four five six seven eight and this is the ninth one so i'm going to go on and complete this but i'm going to switch color here i'm just going to pick this one i'm not cutting i'm not cutting yarn uh, just i'm probably going to weave it in uh, when I'm here when I'm making the next section uh, the section on this side so here I am going to complete that so that is a total of nine rows now I'm going to turn this I'm going to make that next half with this color so to begin I'm going to this is the first this is the first stitch on my hook already I'm going to pick up this slanted bar that was the decrease that was the second one from uh, that previous row pick that up yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through two so that's row one on this side for row two i'm going to pick up that horizontal bar and then i'm going to find the slanted stitch of the next row so this one is the next row and this is that slanted bar here so you have to be very careful to make sure that you're picking up the right bar because this is where i kept getting confused and 
it's still better to do this with uh, two solid colors if you are using the same yarn and um, not changing color at corners uh, then it gets even harder i think but once you have practiced and you figured out the technique then it's it gets easier so yarn over pull through two twice and then for the third row i'm going to this and this is the first loop on the hook that's the first stitch pick up the vertical bar and then pick up this horizontal bar that's three three loops on the hook so with every row we are adding one loop on the hook and the fourth one will be here this is the next row so this this was the row that we attached with in the last one and this is the next row and here is that slanted stitch and that's four loops on the hook the next one will have five so that's one two three and that horizontal stitch the horizontal bar and then find the next row which is this one and that slanted stitch of that next one and then yarn over pull through two and with every row we're going to add one more loop to the hook make sure to pick up that horizontal bar from the previous row and then the slanting bar from the row in the previous triangle So here we are at row eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is complete, and now I'm going to make the ninth one. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I join with this slanted, that that's the last one here for this triangle. And here, now I'm not going to anchor this stitch over here. Um, you could do it but I didn't find the need to do it so I'm just going to go ahead and complete this and for the next part I'm going to change color and I'm going to show you how to make one edge so this is how it's looking right now and going to show you this is where we are so I turned this around so we started here we moved in this direction we made this corner which is this one and then we made this corner which is this one so this one is anchored with that stitch here right in the center here you can see uh, right here and this one is not the last row of this one is not and all the other corners will be like this we don't really need to anchor that last one this one was special because uh, if we didn't do that it would leaves the fabric a little unstable so now I'm going to continue making the panel on the side so this one if you're aware of the join as you go technique this is just that you just make a set of rows which uh, in this direction and you keep joining with one each row on this panel so I'm going to go ahead and do that so the beginning I'll have 10 stitches 10 loops on the hook so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and the tenth one will be this or don't forget that horizontal bar from the previous row so ten and then we're going to so this we're going to join it with it's the join as you go method so we'll join it with the same place that we anchored that previous that row from here so we're just going to insert my hook here yarn over pull through 
so that is a total of 11 loops on the hook so that's 2 4 6 8 10 and 11 so the reason for that is that's 10 stitches from uh, from the panel and the 11th loop is for the join so then yarn over pull through two So I'm going to do 10 rows of uh, simple stitches in this panel and every row will be joined with the next row with, of this panel here. So the next corner I will make, I will make it in a, in a single color so you can see how to do that as well. I don't, I want to give you all the options uh, you, so you can see how they work up um, with different sort of uh, color change options. So that's 10 stitches, uh, 10 loops, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and then I'm going to join with that next row here I'm just going to pick up those two vertical bars here and yarn over pull through that's nine rows that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and there'll be one more so if you do this right this will just line up you won't really have to count uh, because you're joining one row over here with one row over here and because there were ten rows here this will match up exactly with that panel So this is the last one here. Uh, I'm going to pick up the last two vertical bars of this one here and that completes this panel here. And at this point I'm going to change color because I want to show you what that next, how to make that next corner. So I'm going to make it with this green. So here this is how it is and if you Compare it with this swatch here. Um, so this is where we started and then we made this corner and then we made this corner now this panel and the next one is going to be this corner. So I'm going to make the entire corner in this one color. Uh, start with making the decrease rows so that's uh, there will be 10 loops on the hook but we're going to do a reverse pass decrease two four six eight ten and then yarn over pull through two so here we are this is the ninth row that's one two three four five six seven eight nine I'm going to complete it in this same color now and I'm going to make the other half of this square with the same color so you can see how to find the stitches where to make make that other triangle so we start with this is the first loop on the hook now make sure you pick up that vertical is that horizontal bar from that previous row and yarn over pull through two so you always start with two stitches or two loops on the hook at the end of the forward pass in and that second triangle so we have this one now that's one now we need three so this one is one and that horizontal bar here just pick that and then find that slanting stitch of that next row so if you can so you can see that this was the row that we made our previous sort of join in now the next one would be this row and here is that slanted stitch and pick that up yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two and for the next one we'll need four loops on the hook so that's one two third is picking that horizontal bar and the fourth is again so this is this this is the row that we just joined within the previous one so this one is the next row and here is that slanted stitch and then yarn over pull through two and with every row we're going to add one 
stitch or add one loop to the hooks so that's four and then that is that slanted bar and five so we'll have a total of nine rows and we've completed eight rows here so because we didn't change color it's a little hard to see but if you turn this a little towards you you can see that this is the first loop or the first row in this on the side so that's on this triangle so there's one two three four five six seven eight we've just completed eight rows and we need to make nine i'm going to make the ninth one four five six seven eight pick up that horizontal bar and pick up that slanted bar from that there you go and then yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning so if you see that that uh, i didn't anchor this one uh over here it's not needed i'm going to make the next part which is the panel on this side so that for that i'm going to change color And that the first row I'm going to I make here that will be anchored over there. So that's what we're going to do next. So the next panel, um, let me show you where we are first. So here I I keep turning the project because that's how we're working on this. So we started. Uh, it's hard to include both of these. Okay, so this is where we started. And then we made this, and then we made this. Uh, so we made this one, and then we made this one. And then we made this panel, which was joined with this one using the join as you go technique. And then we made this corner. And now we're going to make this panel, which will be joined with this one. So I'm going to make. So let me. The another thing that I want to point out here is if you see that we've worked in this direction here and in this direction on this side so when we join here that's an interesting uh, problem to solve it's hard to find those 10 anchor points here to join uh, 10 rows so we will make nine rows in this panel so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and those line up nicely because there are 10 stitches here so there are sort of nine columns and you can join with each column and that also helps because uh, because these stitches are tall um, it sort of offsets uh, making one row less less than the 10 that we made on this side it make, makes it slightly short but you see that that height aligns with the the height of this one aligns with the width of this one so I think that worked up really well for me um, and uh, I think that just sort of worked out with the way this was laid out uh, i'm going to show you how i did it so make 10 uh, simple stitches that's the, including the first one so it'll be 10 loops on the hook so it's five six seven eight nine and the 10th one will be this horizontal bar don't forget to pick that one up and then we're going to join right here so here you can see that I'm going to pick up the two uh, the two vertical bars on this side and I'm just going to pick those up and join and then yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning And I'm going to do that for every column here, so to speak. So if you see, that was the first column and then there's one more here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so it lines up nicely if you just follow, uh, if you just uh, pick up the two vertical bars on this on each column.
and that's 10 2 4 6 8 10 and then join by picking up the two vertical bars here this is slightly hard because that was the chain and if you if you remember I made a I made the uh, I made the foundation row in the back loop of that base chain and that is why I have these two vertical bars here and it really helps in this but if you didn't make your foundation row in the back loop if you made it in uh, if you picked up a different loop for it it would you may you may not have these two vertical bars so just pick up how many ever you have over here it may be one it may be two So that's row two. I'm going to make seven more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last one will be the ninth one, which will be right here. So here it is that's nine rows and the other advantage of doing this nine rows here is that it matches exactly over here because we had nine rows here as well if you remember this triangle was nine rows and this is nine rows so this matches on both sides so that's that's great um, I'm going to make the next one here which is going to be the exact same as this so I'm just going to pick a solid color and um, I'm going to make that corner again if you here we are right now this is how it's looking and if you align it here with this one this is how it is so we started here we went here made this one and then this one and then this corner this panel this corner and then now we're going to now we're going to make this long panel here this panel is exactly the same as this one here um, where I'm going to pick up a total of 10 loops on the hook so that's three four five six seven eight nine the tenth is that horizontal bar and then I'm going to join with the first row over here so if you see this was my first or the foundation row and this this is these are the two vertical bars of that first stitch so I'm just going to pick those and join here and yarn over pull through two so I had 11 loops on the hook at this point I'm just going to yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning of this so that makes the first row over here and I'm just going to continue making these so there will be a total of 19 I think so 10 that will match this exactly and nine more because there was nine rows on this in this triangle here so I'm going to complete that all the way and I'm going to show you how to bind off in the end so this is how it's looking right now and I'm going to use a slip stitch bind off um, I have a separate video for this as well so I'm not going to explain it in detail that's 10 and then I'm going to join it with this here um, so I'm going to cut yarn and I'm going to do an invisible join here um, I don't have a video for that but if you search for invisible join then that you should be able to find it so I'm going to join it with this row over here for now I'm just going to slip stitch so you see how it's looking uh, in a real uh, project I do a slip uh, I do a invisible join there so 
this is how it is uh, made the full panel that I showed you over here and so here it is for reference uh, we started at the center moved in this direction and then moved here so you turn your project as you go and uh, you can just keep going you can uh, you can add a corner here and then add another panel a corner here another panel so your blanket will or your project will keep growing this way uh, you can make all sorts of different things with it and all kinds of different yarns uh, it this pattern can be built with any kind of yarn with an appropriate hook so that's pretty much all there is in this uh, you just have to keep repeating these corners the ones that i made here and this one as well so this this is the only one that is different because we sort of we anchor that stitch over here so that's that's pretty much all there is for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and um, if you like this video uh, please like and subscribe to my channel i have a bunch of other videos and i have a lot of uh, tunisian crochet patterns up on my blog and tutorials on my channel so feel free to check them out and uh, thank you for watching bye bye